Hello, this series of videos is being made upon request of a subscriber. This is going to be video one in my Linux terminal practice videos. And in this video, I'm going to cover basic commands that aren't used as often as others, but you should still know. And because this is a practice video, some commands are going to be repeated frequently. And I'm going to leave any mistakes that I make in the video so you get an idea of what it looks like when you do make a mistake and how to correct them. And most mistakes are syntax errors or typos. And the first command I want to show you is if you're stuck on a command, you can type man and then the name of the command and hit enter. It'll give a description of the command, the proper syntax to use with the command, along with different options that you can use with the command. If I hit the space bar, it moves up the one page at a time. If I hit the enter key, it moves up one line at a time. And I'm going to press Q to quit. Next, I'm going to show you the help command. If you type the command that you're looking for information on first, and then dash dash help, and then hit enter, it gives almost the same output as the man command. It shows a proper syntax, along with the different options that you can use with the command. And I'm going to press Q to quit. The next command I'm going to show you is the what is command. If you type what is, and then the name of the command that you want information on, so I'm going to type dir, and hit enter. The what is command displays a description of the command from the man page. So if I type what is sudo, it tells me that by using the sudo command, I can execute a command as another user. The next command I'm going to show you is the who command. If you type who and hit enter, this will print a list of all the currently logged on users. Right now, the only user logged on is Mint. And if I were to type who am I and press enter, this will print the current logged on user or the account that you're currently logged into. And next I'm going to show you the tab key. So if I were to begin to type who am I and hit the tab key, it finishes the command for me and just hit enter. If I was to start typing what is and hit the tab key, it finished the word for me and then I'm going to hit enter. Next I'm going to show you how to run multiple commands at once. If I were to type what is dir and then use a semicolon and then who, another semicolon, who am I, and then I'm going to hit enter. This is the output of the what is dir command. Here's the output of the who command. And then here's the output of the who am I command. And you don't have to put a space between the command and the semicolon. So if I type what is dir, I can put the semicolon right here, and then who. And it still works. And I'm going to show you one more way real quick. I'm going to type what is dir and then a double ampersand who double ampersand and who am I and press enter. And here's the output of the what is dir command, the output of the who command, and then the output of the who am I command. Next I'm going to type cal for calendar and hit enter. This will display the current date and time, and if I were to type cal May 2013 and hit enter, it would take me to that month. Next I'm going to type date and press enter. This displays the current date and time. The next command I'm going to show you is the history command. If you type history and hit enter, it will display all the previous commands that you've used. And if I were to type an exclamation point, and then one of the numbers next to the command, so if I type 408 and hit enter, it ran the who command for me. And I'll do one more if I press the exclamation point, and then 414, and hit enter. 414 is right here. It ran the what is dir command, the who command, and the who am I command. And here's the output of all three of them. Next, if I typed two exclamation points and pressed enter, this will run the previous command and show the output. Next, I'm going to type pwd for print working directory, and I'm going to hit enter. This shows the current directory that I'm in, and right now I'm in Mint's home directory. And next, I'm going to type clear to clear the screen. Oops. And there's a good example of a typo and the error that you're going to see when you make one. So now I'm going to type clear to clear the screen, 
And always remember, if you get stuck on any command, to use the man pages or the help pages. And the last command I'm going to show you is the exit command. I'm going to type exit. And then press enter. And it closes the terminal. And that's the end of video one in the Linux terminal practice videos. And again, this just covered the basic commands that aren't used very often, but you should still know. The next video is going to cover directory and file management. It'll be a little more fun and interesting. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.